how you grip the dice is essential if you want to win at playing the game of craps. Hey, my name is Joe and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Please make it yours as well. This is the introduction to step number five. And in this step, I'm going to over the next two or three videos go into complete detail on how to grip the dice. In this video here, we're going to introduce why it's essential that you do have a proper grip onto the dice. I'm going to cover the three major ways that you can grip the dice, and I'm going to cover some basic tips that you can apply to most of the dice gripping techniques. Everything we covered in steps one through four so far has been very important on our dice shooting journey. But hey, step number five is where it really starts to matter. This is where we really start to put things together. We've mentally prepared ourselves. We've chosen our position at our table. We've chosen our dice set. Now, when we start gripping the dice, this is when we actually get hands on that dice and we get ready to actually influence it as they go down the table. How you grip the dice actually does help determine how they leave your hand, whether they're true or square to the back wall. And it also helps to give you that comfort and that confidence that you need that once the dice do leave your hands, that they're going to do what you want them to do. In the next two videos, which is step number five, parts two and three, I'm going to be covering in detail the majority of the dice grips that people use at the craps table. I found that the dice grips can be basically classified into one of three different categories. First category is your backhanded tosses. You also have a side-handed toss and you also have an underhanded toss. Now the type of grip that you choose to use will depend on, on a variety of different factors. First and probably the most important factor is how comfortable are you with that grip. If this is a grip that you don't feel comfortable using, you're not going to perform well using it. But if it's a grip that even it might not be the optimal grip, but if it's a grip that you're comfortable with, chances of your success are going to be greatly improved because you're using something that you actually do feel comfortable with. Another factor that might determine what you use for your grip is your table position or how far you are from the, from the back wall. So if you're at stick left one or stick right one, you might use one different grip. But if you're at the end of the table, maybe in the hook, for example, you might use a totally different grip. Or let's say you're comfortable throwing from the left side of the table, but all of a sudden you're on the right side of the table now, you might need to use a different grip there because it's kind of awkward using your left hand, your left side grip on the right side of the table. And the third option or, or variable that you might want to take consider, into consideration is the style of throw that you're using. Are you using a throw that's going to be knuckleballing it or, or flat lining the dice, meaning that they're not going to have any rotation either forward or backwards? Or are you going to have a, a toss that you do want some backwards rotation? And is that rotation going to be minimal? Or are you going to try to really spin it really fast to help minimize that energy in the air for when it does land and hit the other side of the table? You know, that style of throw is going to greatly influence the type of grip that you do use. Some general tips to use when properly gripping the dice. Number one, use a grip that's comfortable for you. So when you have your grip that's comfortable for you, those dice should be tight together. They should be square and they should allow you to be able to toss the dice comfortably down the table so that they stay together as they're going through the air. Now that comfort zone or that, that grip that you use might be comfortable for you, but it is not comfortable for every single person. So that's why I'm showing you a variety of grips throughout this series here, so that way you can choose the one that's most comfortable for you, depending on where you're located at the table. Tip number two, in video number four of step number five, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you guys how I made a tool that you can use to help perfect your grip whether you're using a backhanded grip, a side-handed grip, or the underhanded grip, you're going to be able to use this tool to make sure that your fingers are located properly on the dice and that the dice are actually together, that they're tight, and that they're perfectly set up to set yourself up 
for success when you throw the dice down the table. Tip number three, make sure that you practice your grip regularly. When I first started learning the grip that I use, and you're gonna find out in a couple of videos what grip that is, my preferred grip, but when I first started learning how to use my grip, what I did is I took a pair of dice with me and I repeatedly for hours and hours and hours just set the dice down, regripped it, set them down, regripped it, checked it, set them down, regripped it, and I did that probably, and I would not be lying if I said this, at least 500 to 600 times. Now this is something that I'm going to have to repeat occasionally throughout my dice shooting journey because you always want to verify that you are doing things the same, that you, nothing has changed, that everything is constant. So that way if you have a problem with your throw, you have a problem with the results, you can start picking apart these little parts and changing little things one at a time so you can find out where the problem is, is occurring. So I, like I said, tip number three is practice your, your grip. So get a pair of dice and try to get into your grip multiple times. Say, um, try to grip it five times in 30 seconds. And that way what's gonna happen is it's gonna help you with your comfort level to get into that grip, get into it properly, and get ready to throw the dice to help minimize the time that you use at the table to set those dice. Number four, which is the last of our basic tips here, is when you practice gripping the dice, make sure that your grip allows the dice to be tight together and square to each other. You don't wanna have one twisted a little bit more than the other because the more you can keep them together, the more they're gonna stick, hopefully, as they fly down towards the other end of the table, which is gonna hopefully help decrease that energy that you use to get them down there. And it's gonna hopefully help minimize that randomization once they do hit the table, that they're gonna be doing the same type of thing and hopefully bounce in the same directions. So please hang in there, guys. Watch for part two and three. Um, again, we're gonna cover in detail all the grips that I know of that you can use at the craft table. And that doesn't mean it's an inclusive list. So that way, hey, keep that in mind. So leave a comment if you like the grips, if you have questions about the grips, if you use a different style grip at the table, and please explain to me what that is. Also, hey guys, if you're finding value in these videos, make sure that you share them. Make sure that you give me that thumbs up make sure that you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hey, if you wanna find out what the 10-step method, the Craps Master Journey 10-step method is to shooting the dice, click on the link in the right side there. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Please, please, please make it yours as well.